Yes, we've got a potential, all right. Ooh. The fence does not provide good cover fire. I mean, good cover. He's ripping right through it, and this forest is lighting on fire. It's definitely damaging this little... Yep. And there it goes. Not everything lasts forever. This land has seen better days. A brutal cyclops rules the forest. A slime devours the plains. A rogue AI administrated the trophies. A vampire drains life from the swamp. Even though he's raising them to life. Gather friends and equipment. Defeat the four kings. Hello guys, this is Super Paladin, and welcome to my series of Tom Johnson's Enemy game by Tom Johnson. Um, the, the name was just Enemy, but the game was made by Tom Johnson, and since if you just Google it, you're not going to find the game. Um, I just decided to put Tom Johnson's Enemy, because it's just kind of cool, just like the title Tom Clancy's um, series. So, anyways, we're going to make our character. This is kind of going to be a gameplay, walkthrough, roleplay, you know, just little things like that to make this fun. We're just going to be doing a little series on Enemy. By Tom Johnson. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. And um, each season will be as long as the group lasts. Who knows? Maybe this will only be one season and we won't die. But in the past, I've always died. So it's going to be interesting. Um, there's lots of different genres here, um, which is basically the background of your character. I always go with platformer, but there's other things like action, which is. And you can also click which kind of history do you want. There's one where you, for. Well, how about let's start first? Just. Um, read through all of these real quick genre action history you have long traveled between the stars until one day your craft was shot down and you crashed in this land <clears throat> and the other one is you are android model number 42821926 created by a rogue ai for infiltration and assassination um i don't know about you guys but if you've played um i can't think of the game never mind if i remember it we'll come back to it but genre adventure Though you are of humble birth, you seek a way to prove your courage to the princess of your homeland. And the other one is... Oh, to the prince of your homeland, if you wanted to be a girl. Um, the other one is horror, which is... Every century, your family line has been called down to put down the lord of the dead. And the other one is... Thousands of years ago, you were a heinous criminal. Now you are cursed to walk the earth until you redeem yourself. Platformer, a hard-working repairman. You one day shimmied into a crawl space and found yourself in a strange new world. And the other one is, as a five-year-old child, you followed a strange animal through the forest and never found your way home again. Uh, let's see, did I miss another one? Yep, that's all of them. I will be going with platformer, as I usually said. And if you don't know the reference to this, this is a reference to that little dude in Wreck-It Ralph. If you've seen that movie, yeah, he's uh, pretty cool. So in the artwork, he is fat, but I'm going to pretend he's the same build as the guy from Wreck-It Ralph. Let's get started on this epic series. And if I die, that doesn't matter. <laughs> See, I will typically the platformers should um, go with bomb and throw, but I like to go for that melee action and bomb. <clears throat> Health to keep me alive. Reaction will be good later on. This land has seen better days. Super Paladin, we heard you're going on a quest. We're here to help. Um, I know the text here kind of goes fast, and um, it's kind of hard to read with the quality of what YouTube will allow me to easily upload, so I will try to read it for you. And for our roleplay storyline, basically humanity is coming to an end with these new four kings, and we're here to get rid of them and bring it back to life. And not without the help of some of our friends that are not human, like Lithronax. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. All right, looks like you are Lithronax. This alien guy will always be good at throwing and stuff. I don't know why, but I like to make him kind of a tanky, versatile guy. He's obviously a ninja, so he's going to have a lot of melee and close-up things. And you start off with one med kit. I'm going to give that to myself because I'm the main character, and I'm. <laughs> it's going to cost some time. And I am selfish like that. I'm just kidding. Oh! An enemy straight off the bat. And we luckily saw him through this window here. You can scroll through and 
get the layers out, but somehow through this window we saw him. And if we can see him, he can probably see us. I'm gonna put him to crouch. Or sneak. And I can't sneak him. I'll move him later. Let's let's take care of this while we're at it. If we move him here. Just carefully and slowly. We've already got our first enemy, guys. He's right there. And let's see where we are on the map. We are in a pretty good spot. We could head anywhere. I typically like the forest land because um, I love the... You get to fight knights and archers in here, so that's kind of cool. They have pretty good melee weapons, so we're going to want to look for that. I personally, um, my own playtest of this game, I haven't made it to any other of the lands. I've been in the ice, but I kind of don't stay there long because it's they're usually high-leveled. I've tried going here. They're high-leveled. I've just mostly been in the... Um, starter lands like these in the forest so hopefully we can get to that point in the game let's go ahead and turn it over to the enemy and the guy moved i think we know where he went though i will have um what do I, oh yeah it's giving me bombs it's not too bad but i mean i guess we'll make do with what we have i don't really need that too much i will get ready to fight I'm more, at this point right now, more of a fighter than, okay, there he is, there's Lanthrax, and he will go, Lythranax, I think I got it, and I'm gonna go inside and interact with that chest, okay, now you do, <laughs> ooh, gold, I don't know how to convert that into dollars, but we'll find a way, I will probably divide up each episode by the different maps we do, which will be a lot, um, but I, I will usually do more than one episode if um, we get one done quick enough. And can we reach? Yep. Hopefully this will take him down nice and quick. Nope. Can we hit him again? Yep. Ooh, we made him panic, and he's down. Alright. One less guy to worry about. Once you defeat all the enemies in um, an area, you can free roam through it. But, like I said, you have to beat them all, so sometimes you have to decide whether your team can handle them, or should you just bypass through it quickly. Which is totally fine. <laughs> okay, move the bombs here, because apparently we can use them. Uh, what's the next guy? I'll give this water this, because you can light on fire, and that's actually a cause of a lot of deaths here. So we don't want that. Right here, let me check him out hills because your character is right down here where the exclamation mark bar is i mean obviously health endurance time with the mental bar the more insane they get from crazy battles and whatnot and misfire and cover fire it can break their mental sanity and we're already under attack like you see that blue marking right there oh, he's caught the house on fire the blue numbers indicates how much their morale or mental whatever you want to call it, is being affected now, not, this is a reaction time right now, or player interrupt time, whatever, and occasionally you'll be able to quickly um, react to the opponent's move, so since he can move out of the way, I'm going to move him out, but I don't think the wizard was aiming for him anyways, or the mage, and he's not looking, so I don't think he'll be able to react. Oh good, and he was aiming for Linothrax, so he can, he's going to light the house on fire, these fires will spread. Like him, if I don't move him soon, he's going to light on fire. Ouch. Just want to move away for now. I can't. So there we go. Actually, if you look at here, he's he does have some cover. That's the with the distance we have here, it's gonna be hard for him to aim. So I think that'll be good for now. We could throw a Molotov cocktail here or block him off from trying to approach this way. He'd have to go the long way, and that should give us enough time. Should I be? putting this this much thought into it i don't know but i don't know if this is a good idea but we're just gonna test out my theory it's going to hit in the general direction i don't know he can still get pretty close probably was not the best decision but this guy here okay the fires are spreading oh no don't die all right he'll be fine the fireballs will have to rip through a lot of blocks, blast through a lot of blocks before getting to him. And okay, it is it is falling. The house it looks like blocks spawn, but actually, like I said, if you scroll up, this thing has entire buildings built. I know.
know that kind of made weird sense, but whatever. I'm going to sneak him around. Oh dear. Oh dear. That building just collapsed. Oh no, look out! Look out! Avalanche! <laughs> it's not really an avalanche. Ah, oh, the lag. So much fire and destruction. This is a tough start already. Fate does not seem to be on our side. I don't know what kind of... There seems to be a lot of death and destruction. Look at these buildings. And the trees are lighting a fire and this tree is on fire. We need to take out that. We need to take out that. Mage now, where is he? It seems my ninja here has caught the enemy somewhere. I hope it's the one we're looking for. And it is. Turn this down a little bit so we can catch sight of him. And I hope we can land an attack. Yes, we should have enough time left for him to make a second attack if this isn't enough. Mages are pretty close up range. Yes, he's panicking. We can take him out now before he starts running and goes berserk. Nope, it's not enough, not enough. Go. Can we make it? Let's see, we have 67 if we spare enough time. No, no, no. It takes time to equip. <laughs> 10. How much does it cost to throw? 30? No, no, no. I got an idea. <laughs> How much health does he have left? Can I select? Of course not. Of course not. Just one little strike. If I can do this Mario style. They're going down. Yes! Tango down. Good job, guys. Did a good job. So, fo so far, this is the edge of the map right here. So we're doing alright. Need to get him out of there. There's a fire going on. I don't know how many more enemies are left on this map, but if we clear them out, we should be fine. Anyways, let's see how the rest of this destruction unfolds so we can refill our time. interesting start for the first episode of our heroes. It seems that they've already lost their home, and their neighbor's home, whoever's house that was. A bunch of rubble and destruction and this mushroom and trees are still lighting on fire, but let's see how the morale's doing. I'm fine. Hayato's fine. And Lithranax is fine as well. I think this calls for us to keep moving. Anything we need to move. Oh yes, I'm capable of, uh, using melee weapons, which will be useful for fighting. And a smoke bomb for escapes. Um, well, I want to know which one I should have equipped first, because this didn't really help us as much as this, and we're probably going to need this more. I don't know. I don't know. When in doubt, go with offense. We'll have him face this way. And we will refill our time for him so we can get going. Fire spreading. It's definitely damaging this little. Yep, and there it goes. Not everything lasts forever. This game does get updates. I hope it'll keep updating anyways in the future. I think that'd be really cool. Let's collect some. Ooh, money. <laughs> I don't want to deny that. Um, there's one more thing I want to do with my character, and that's equip him. Hold on. I think it's good to give him some sort of uniform. He can kind of stay back for now. He doesn't have too much of a purpose. I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in a tactical way. So we'll get moving with these characters. My ninja. And the... No, no, no. Ah, miss clicks of life. And the fire's all out. So far we've taken down two enemies, right? And that's caused all of this destruction. Uh, quite a way to start off. But our heroes will persevere. He's lost his home, so he has no place now. My character has no place. But 
We have to remember the sacrifice that the rest of these guys have put. Taking away their time to come and help our group. Onward we go. Refill the time so that we all have the same amount of time and we can progress together um, through this as, as together as possible. We'll sneak back into crouch mode if enemies come into view. And there's a coin block already. I mean question block, which will have items come out of it. A little Mario reference there, of course. We'll sneak up on it, so we'll, even though we're not really sneaking. Um, we'll proceed behind cover until we reach it. It's a pretty safe way. Because enemies, this game does not, like it has no tutorials. And um, it does not really, like it, kind, it starts off easy, but I mean it does not give you any leeway gonna have to put him out in the open but he'll have some cover in this lower ground <laughs> but yeah this game doesn't really make it that much easier oh this is the edge of the map I think there's only like an enemy or two left but it may not be that much worth it let's check what's in here money of course how much gold it's 33 it's not that's fine can be exchanged for goods and services. I still have to find out how to do that. But let's. We need to first figure out which direction we want to go. Let's go south so we can head to this forest area. And there seems to be a dungeon of some sort, which means we just have to head back that way. And I think let's let's finish off. Let's just do make it simple. Just have the first episode be this area here, area of land. We'll defeat all the enemies and at least reclaim our homeland. A little piece of home here and then soon the rest of the world from the four evil kings just proceed slowly all right we have a little bridge here it crosses over to the south then seeing my just the compass down here in the bottom right Ooh, there it is an enemy right there Let's get sneaky. In fact, I want to put him here because the ice stock's over there. My last one. Did I crouch him? There we go. Let's sneak up on that ice stock. And he disappeared somewhere. It's alright. Just proceed slowly. There's this fence here, so. There's a gunman, and, uh... I'll try to catch the gunman's attention and have my ninja sneak around. That sounds like a good idea. He'll sneak around and get the gunman from behind. These two guys will take cover. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Yep, there he is. We've caught his attention, alright. Ooh! The fence does not provide good cover fire. I mean, good cover. <laughs> He's ripping right through it, and this forest is lighting on fire. My ninja better hurry. Ooh. Dear, this is a problem. Alright, sneak up on him. Take cover. Fire is spreading. Alright, that thing's approaching. Don't reach. Gotcha. There we go. Sneak in and strike. There we go. Sneak back. Good. Oh, he's attacking me. Oh, that missed somehow. Good. We're alive. He missed me. Oh, and that fireball is still traveling. Hello. <laughs> the melee let's see did he level up he did I want to give him what should we give him we have the fire thing we can make him shoot fire so we'll give him some ranged that'll be good for his health <laughs> Just kidding. oh yes he leveled up too 
Give him some melee for that damage. He was our main damage guy. We'll sneak up here just in case this doesn't work. But I this better work. We won't have any other option if this doesn't. Go, go, go. <laughs> yes. One enemy remains. the destruction and we hear footsteps all right we already know where the last enemy is he's most likely over this lake and this fire is just spreading over here oh well um let's put that down for a second and get him out collect that i like to call those poppy seeds <laughs> let's collect that no no come on just just collect it just loop his body right there Okay, add some space. Alright, that was actually worth it. Add some money. Alright. Anyways. Back to moving forward. Let's get the group together. So he's over across that lake. The fire's finally gone out. Alright, if we hurry, we can make it. I have the most, um... Well, we want to put him first because he is the melee guy. Put him down on this lane. Have a lot of um, sight range due to my um, what was it? What, which characteristic? My mind char characteristic. I have two traits, abilities, whatever you want to call it. As soon as we get across here, we're probably gonna run into him or her. There we go. Across that way. characters one at a time so I think um through the, this adventure we're also going to run into the quest buttons. Oh no he's firing he's caught us stand on guard men oh it's a miss it's a miss we have to get closer okay we can't get that far through sneaking He's firing at us, he sees us. Well, we've got some cover over here. <sighs> yes, it is demoralizing us. But it's also demoralizing him by the fact that he's missing, right? His mental state. Ooh, he's. Hayato is starting to lose it a little bit. Not that bad. We can close the gap. In fact, if Hayato can close in a hit. Okay, let's, let's put him behind here first. Then if he approaches, we're gonna we should have some reaction time. Oh, he is firing at Lithornax. Let's move behind here. There we go. So, oh yes, the pipes can light on fire. I forgot. I don't think he can break through it though. <gasps> it's breaking. It's breaking. And then he's moving. Alright, let's get the ninja out of there before he lights on fire. There he is getting him. I'm getting him. Alright, he's he's gonna try to retreat. No escape. Oh, can we hit him one more time? Nope. Can I reach him, please? Yes. This is it. <laughs> Off with you, Scallywagon. Got some money. Completed this world segment. It's now ours. We'll collect more of their suits just in case we run into more. Apparently, they're all women. All right, that's what happens when you liberate an entire land. The whole map is free for you to roam. And final question mark block. What we get? Just more money. But we should probably run into a shop then, or some sort of village soon, so we can actually make use of this money. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. Sounds good. There we go. Let's refresh the whole map and uh, get these guys going. Let's get them on this bridge. It'll be kind of fun. So for the overview of what happened, our home and our neighbor's home was destroyed by a mage. Um, but we got rid of everyone. This land is cleared with a lot of burnt places and destruction. Pretty surprising, but you never know what wildlife and crazy 
cultists can do as our heroes adventure off into the next world. We hope to see you guys tune in on the next episode. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again as I lead my group into the land of enemies. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Join you? Of course.